Good morning. My name is Mark Rabinov from Melbourne, Australia. My question is, Berkshire has bought a lot of shares over the last 12 months in listed companies. Do you expect the return on these investments to be between 7 and 10 per cent per annum over many years, which is, I would say, well below what Berkshire has achieved in the past? The answer to that is yes. <laughs> the, um, we would be very happy if we could buy common stocks where our expectation over a long period uh, pre-tax uh, from a combination of dividends and capital gains. We'd be very happy if we thought it was going to be 10 percent, and we would probably settle for a little less than that. And there's no question, absolutely no question, that returns from owning Berkshire will be less in the future than they have been in the past. There's no question that we will not do as well with the common stocks at Berkshire that we own in the future as we have over the last uh, really 40 years or thereabouts. We operate now in a universe of marketable stocks that where we're talking about companies with market caps of at least 10 billion, in most cases to have a meaningful impact on Berkshire. We're talking much bigger than that, maybe 50 billion and up. Well, that universe is not as profitable a universe to operate in as if you have the entire universe of thousands and thousands of companies. So if we, if we just take an example, if we find a company with a market cap of 10 billion and we can buy 5% of it, and usually that's about what we could buy without disturbing things, we can have a $500 million investment. Let's say it doubles over a period of time. That's 500 million, you pay a 35% tax, you have 325 million, that's less than two tenths of 1% in terms of Berkshire performance. So our universe has shrunk enormously and, and we will not do as well uh, in that universe remotely as well as we would if we were operating in a much wider universe and could do all kinds of things. Uh, we've found little things to do from time to time where we've made some money. I may refer to them a little later on a couple of things. Uh, and they're nice, but they don't move the needle very much at Berkshire. So anyone that expects us to come close to replicating the past uh, should sell their stock. I mean, because it, it isn't, it isn't going to happen. And, you know, I think we're going to get decent results over time, uh, but we're not going to get indecent results. And in this field, we prefer indecent, but we're not going to get them. Charlie? <laughs> I think you can take Warren's promises to the bank. <laughs> we uh, are very happy making money at a rate in the future that is way less than the rate at which we made money in the past. And I suggest that you adopt the same attitude. Well, I wouldn't, I wouldn't condemn him to that. I, I think if you're working with small amounts of money, I, I've talked to the, oh, yeah. yeah, then you may have very, something very much better to do with your money than to buy Berkshire. At, uh, I mean, if you're working with small amounts of money and you want to put in significant amounts of time and examine thousands of securities, you will find things that are more intelligent to buy than Berkshire. Um, you know, we still think Berkshire is an attractive investment over a long period of time. We think that it stacks up reasonably well with other very large companies. We don't think it's the most attractive investment in the world in terms of what you can find if you're willing to go through those thousands of possibilities, which is what Charlie and I used to do many years ago. It's not feasible for us to do it now, and it wouldn't have any impact on Berkshire. What we really like at Berkshire is buying good-sized to very large first-class businesses with first-class management and just sitting there, because the nice thing about that is you don't have to go from flower to flower. You can just sit there and watch them produce more and more every year and give you capital, and you can buy more businesses. That's a nice formula. It's a formula that will work, I think, for us. It won't produce returns like the past. Number 10.